In this video, we talk about the final update for Halo 5. The sun setting for the classic 360 games have been delayed. A very interesting MCC news update. The absolutely mountainous, massive amount of Halo news. And it looks like the marketing is going to start with this game as well. And some of your favorite classic maps have been floodified. You want to know more? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Hey everyone, and welcome to Last Week in Halo, the show that keeps you updated with everything going on that happened last week in Halo. I know not everyone can catch up with the news as soon as it happens throughout the week, we all have lives. So the idea of this video is that every Monday we premiere a video here on the channel recapping everything that happened in the previous week as a bit of a one-stop shop for everything Halo news related. So if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. It really does help out the video and channel and get a better place within that YouTube algorithm. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo as soon as the news happens, make sure you tap subscribe subscribe so let's get right into the content here so for our first bit of news today we're going to be talking about a community update that went live last week for halo guys just also recapping a lot of things that's going on with halo uh, but this one in particular gives you some news about halo 5 which we haven't talked about quite some time on the channel because well halo 5 has been on the news cycle for a while nothing really happening with it but in this blog update we got some interesting information about what's going to happen to halo 5 in the near future. And it looks like Halo 5's final playlist update is happening very soon after the launch of Halo Infinite this year. Meaning that the weekly playlist updates that we've been getting for the last six years for Halo 5, not gonna be happening anymore. And here are the list of modes that you'll be able to play for the rest of Halo 5's lifespan. We have Quick Play, Super Fiesta Party, Big Team Battle, Big Team Battle, Super Fiesta, Infection. And then for Ranked, you have Slayer, Team Arena, 2v2 Competitive, SWAT, Elimination, and Free For All. And then for Warzone, you have Warzone Firefight, Mythic Warzone Firefight for you 152 grinders out there, Warzone Warlords, and then regular old Warzone, but regular Warzone will also have the mix of Warzone Turbo and Warzone Assault mixed in there at a lower rate. They also mentioned that this final update will be kicking off the final arena season coming December and it'll run indefinitely. So we'll never have your ranks reset ever again for Halo 5. Though they do mention that periodically they will reevaluate the health of playlists and ensure that we can continue to have a good experience for players looking to play online. It's an end of an era guys. So as soon as that actually does draw for this update, I'll let you guys know on this channel. Next we have some bits of Halo gear that you guys can pick up, which are pretty interesting as well. Here we have a nice little two pack of the Chief and the Pilot right here. Interesting thing is it says receive a Halo Infinite bonus in-game content with this purchase and you get to see a cool weapon charm that you'll be able to have in-game if you buy this product. And I think this is our first official look of weapon charms within Halo Infinite, so that's pretty interesting. There have been various leaks about what's going to be available for these weapon charms, but obviously I'm not going to really try to cover too much in the way of leaks because it's just a mess right now trying to deal with that. On the Xbox page, they have some interesting things that they cut out, life-size cut out almost of Master Chief, which I believe has now been sold out, but you have some cool wall art you can put up guys and some cool thermoses as well. You can find this on the description down below if the supply is still available. I know this Master Chief cutout sold out like instantly. And I was thinking about adding it to the wall here guys, but it just might've been a bit too messy if I added in a chief size cutout. We also have this really awesome looking needler as well. It's not the scale, but these needles actually do line up. It has some sound effects to it. It's pretty awesome. You guys want to check it out go ahead and do so it's from nerf so you know it's good quality and for a fun little side gift for your halo fan out there you can have these halo themed playing cards and these just look pretty awesome and they're kind of like a fun little treat uh, for your friend out there who might be like a nice little stocking stuffer for the holiday season or something like that i mean these do look pretty dang awesome and as december is the next month guys originally that's when we we're, we're going to see the 360 era halo games online services sun setting but it looks like that has been delayed to 2022 with a very busy december that 343 is going to have with the release of halo infinite a hcs event right after that as well and then you have the holiday weekends coming up that i think it'd probably be best to actually delay which looks like that's what microsoft decided to do now the official sunsetting of online services for these legacy 360 titles will happen on January 13th, 2022. And the games that this update will affect will be Reach, Halo 4, Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, Spartan Assault, and Halo Wars as well. If you're curious what is going to be supported and what's not going to be supported, here's a nice little graph showcasing everything here. Link to this in the description down below, or you can just pause the video to kind of take a good hard look at what's going to be available 
available post January 13th. Next, we have a pretty interesting update when it comes to the Master Chief Collection as this is still the main game that a lot of people are playing right now, but we had a nice little update saying that if you logged in before Halloween, guys, you're able to receive this animated Halo Combat Evolved looking pumpkin thing with like lightning happening in the back. It's super cool, guys. Definitely go check out your accounts if you played it all during the month of October. Mark your calendars this week for November 3rd, though, as it's going to be a pretty big update for the Master Chief Collection with more customization coming into the game. This image was teased within the blog update, guys. You can see it's like some kind of plushy grunt background. You can see his leg. That's like grunt arm. Looks like holding like a plasma grenade or ball or something like that. But once the update does go live, guys, I guarantee I'll showcase everything you need to know about that update. Keep in mind that your checkpoint saves and theater films will be corrupted after this update. So if you guys have any kind of theater clips or anything like that you want to keep, make sure you download them or you find some way to record them in some capacity so you don't ever lose those awesome moments. There will also be a handful of bug fixes going live with this update. And if there's anything interesting from this, guys, I guarantee I'll share it on the channel here. But a very interesting point right here that they mentioned saying, be prepared, Spartans, with this being the 20th anniversary of Halo this month. Let's get this party started like it's 1999. So other than being an awesome Prince reference, I believe this is a reference to the Mac World reveal we had of Halo. This is the first time the public ever saw of Halo. This is back in 1999, where Jason Jones went on stage with Steve Jobs right here to showcase Halo. And this reveal has something very interesting where it's like you can see that this is Master Chief right here, but with a very, very different armor set that we got in the final release of the game. I have a suspicion that this is going to be the Halo Mac World armor set coming to Master Chief Collection. At least that would make sense to me as we've had a bunch of new armor sets recently coming in with Season 8. It'd be awesome to see this come in with this mid-season update as well. I'm super excited about this. And of course, once that information does go live, guys, I'll make sure to share it on the channel here. To get a better idea of what to expect, Chunkier Bean, who's a prominent modern content creator here on YouTube, actually recreated the Mac World armor set right here. This is it within Halo 3, so this is probably most likely where the game would get it, would be Halo 3 or Halo Combat Evolved, which would be pretty sweet. This is kind of like a nice little visual of what to expect when that possible armor drop happens. We'll just have to wait and see. Now let's get into the Halo Infinite news. And my God, guys, last week was the, one of the biggest news drops ever for Halo Infinite. So it was actually kind of tough to keep track of everything. I actually wasn't able to even release a last week in Halo last week because there was so much Halo Infinite news I needed to cover right then and there. We had the campaign overview. We had a cannon fodder. We had a new trailer, The Banished Rise. We had a blog update for October. It looks like the marketing is about to start for Halo Infinite and looks like possibly early access. Let's take a deep dive into this whole week. So let's just walk through last week so we can just keep it all up to date and keep a better mind of this. This was also on Monday at six o'clock in the morning. We woke up bright and early to witness the campaign overview for Halo Infinite, guys. And oh my gosh, this trailer reinvigorated my hope for the entire franchise. This trailer looked absolutely amazing visually and also got me very excited about the moments that we will be having within the game. I have a video doing my reaction if you guys want to check that out. I also have a video breaking down the trailer as well it brought some very interesting facts that you might have missed while watching this trailer for the just one time through after watching this trailer i feel like it just kind of reasserted my feelings that i think halo infinite is going to be the best shooter out there like it's going to win like a war like for best shooter out there guys i swear to god it's going to be amazing while we're on the topic of trailers we also the next day we had the banished rising trailer which had a nice little cgi spooky discussion with ashram i swear to god every time ashram speaks guys my eyes are just glued to the screen like it's just so enthralling here and Darren DePaul do the voice acting for Ashram. He does an amazing job. The trailer is such a cool like mashup of like some kind of like broken transmission feeling that we had back with the 2020 pre-release of the reveal. So definitely go check that out. I have a feeling this might be a common theme with the marketing, maybe even throughout the game as well. Some kind of broken up kind of communications happening. We'll just have to stay tuned for it. And for your lore nuts out there, that same day we had a cannon fodder drop for us as well, which came with some very interesting little details that they'd like to kind of sprinkle in for Halo Infinite news, guys. So one thing I really wanted to point out for you guys right here is the fact that it looks like these four operating bases down here are going to have some story elements tied to them. Most likely those audio logs that we had, like with that Halsey journal kind of thing, 
saying right here, saying make sure to take every UNSC forward operating base you can. Rupert has it, they have stories to tell. This is taken from the campaign trailer. You can see that once you highlight over forward operating base Gulf, that has a bit of a data pad looking thing that's zero out of one. This might be a reference to those audio logs that we're talking about because you can see right here in the middle of this image, there's a little data pad looking thing. It's lit up blue, pretty easy to see. So this most likely will be those audio logs you'll be finding at these forward operating bases. But wait, there's more because on October 28th, on Thursday, we had the next Inside Infinite update for October, guys. And this update was a very long update. I mean, the biggest of uh, big boy updates. And I uh, really just kind of had more talking about philosophy and design decisions rather than actual like information and gameplay facts. But there were some really cool things to point out, especially with these uh, images and screenshots. I do have a video up on my channel right now detailing everything in little bits if you want to know everything that with, came with this blog update for the most part guys it's just more halo stuff which obviously if you want halo well there you go you get to read this but some interesting things i wanted to point out this image of these marines right here which looks pretty standard stuff right but look at what their sidearm is right here along the right side this is very different from what we're looking right here with the sidekick right here this is not the same kind of weapon right here and right now the only handgun that we know of within halo infinite is well the sidekick so what gun is this possibly? Well, I think this actually might be the classic Magnum returning in Halo Infinite in some capacity. Now, why is that? Well, you can see the two dot iron sight right here. You have these grooves along the side and keep a look at the handle of the weapon as well. It has a kind of a straight line, but then kind of cuts upward. And then also right here, there's a bit of a hump in the front of the holster as well. So let's point out this comparison with this classic Magnum from C here, guys. You got the dual iron sight dots right here, the same kind of cut up that you have for the side profile, as well as these ridges along the side of the weapon on top of that. Now, this doesn't confirm that the classic Magnum is back, though with the recent official reveal of the Mark 7 cosplay setup, guys, they talk about two weapons in specific when it comes to weapon you can have holstered, that was one weapon being the sidekick, the other being the M. 6D classic Magnum as well. But we'll just have to wait a little bit longer to get that information officially. We also had some great renders of these new Spartan killers are going to be within this game. Here is Tavares with the official scrap cannon that we've got a chance to see within the previous cannon fodder. Now an actual in-game render right here. This looks amazing. Along with Jigga Redemni. Now this new class of enemies are Spartan killers. And what are those? Well, they mentioned right here in the blog update. 343 says that these are going to be boss or like mini boss type of characters you'll come across within the campaign of Halo Infinite. They are are an elite force of banished characters basically meant to try to kill the master chief essentially they've confirmed they refer to it almost as like the a team in a way but for the bad guys pretty much this would also help to explain these high value target icons that we've been seeing throughout the reveals of halo infinite as well so these will be kind of miniature boss battles we'll be coming across within halo infinite's campaign which is super exciting we also have a graphical update of our beautiful boy Craig. And my gosh, look at this glow up here, people. Even Xbox Twitter had to recognize this with the awesome meme of how it started and now how it's going. So things are looking pretty positive, I would say, for Halo Infinite. Now, this next bit of news did release this morning, but since it came out before the release of this video, I'm kind of counting into the last week just because I'm not going to make another video talking about the same kind of stuff. That stuff being that looks like the marketing for Halo Infinite is starting to get going now. Might get more of this later on this week. At six o'clock in the morning, my time, Halo Twitter posted this up saying UNSC archives accessed. Contained within are the untold stories of humanity and heroism behind the master chief stay tuned for further transmissions and it came along with this awesome twitter quality video right here and there really isn't really much to pull out of it it's kind of tough to read and kind of obviously tough to you know, understand because twitter quality is so low but they mentioned specifically the orion 2 project management it says right here right below the unsc logo so what is the orion 2 project. Well, let's take a look at the original Orion project to get a better understanding. Here on Halo PD, they say that the Orion project was the UNSC Navy's first effort to create a special forces unit of biochemically augmented super soldiers. So this is before 
before though, this is before the Spartan program guys, but this program kind of morphed into the Spartan program. So it says right here that the Orion project was retroactively dubbed as the Spartan one program, which if you guys remember, Sergeant Johnson is actually a Spartan one. Now this is a little interesting. Early access digital bundle for Halo Infinite? Well, the Halo.API Twitter kind of dug this little bit up right here and showcases in this image that the Halo Infinite multiplayer is part of this bundle. So could we get Halo Infinite's multiplayer a bit early to compare it to campaign? I mean, it wouldn't be unheard of to have early access for a game. EA and Activision do this all the time. And I have a sneaky suspicion that this might tie into that November 15th reveal event that we're gonna have for Xbox and their 20th anniversary celebration that they're going to be putting together that day. And so maybe like I have some early access multiplayer thing you can sign up for and then like the game actually launches like soon afterwards. That's all speculation on my side of things, but of course it's very interesting just to keep an eye out on the whole thing. And of course, like I said earlier guys, if once we get some concrete information on this, you guarantee I'll let you know on this channel. This next section I like to call Cracked Halo Stories. These are stories within Halo that kind of fall between the cracks. I don't necessarily warrant a full video about, but very interesting things I want to showcase. These are like community made creations and also just interesting things that maybe outside of like Halo that'd be kind of fun to check out. And this week we have some Minecraft Halo 3 ending stuff. Does Chief only say one word to Arbiter throughout the entirety of Halo 3's campaign? and some classic Halo maps get floodified. So let's take a deep dive into all this. Our first look is Minecraft Steve taking part at the ending of Halo 3. And this is just too funny not to love. Wake me when you need me. Next is this meme that kind of blew my mind a little bit where it says Master Chief only says one word to Arbiter in all of Halo 3. Now, this is my face. I'm like, what do you mean he only says one word? And then you think about it, you're like, yeah, actually, I think that's it. And they show that one word being worse during this scene right here, because then when I think about it, I'm like, yeah, he only says this one word to him throughout the entirety of Halo 3. And like Chief and Arby are like side by side the whole time. It just like blew my mind. Next, we have some amazing mods from Infinite Forges here, guys. He's been doing some fun modding since the release of Mod Tools in Halo 3. And he's made some really awesome fun versions of your classic favorite Halo 3 maps, guys. And this stuff just looks so awesome, so well done. This is crazy like how you can just throw something together like this. It's just insane, in my opinion. He also floodified midship right here as well, which gives me that huge, like, high charity, you know, taking over kind of vibe. It looks so freaking cool, guys. And uh, if I get a chance to do, like, some mod showcase kind of live streams or something like that, guys, I definitely will try to make some form of content on this. Of course, just go check out Infinite Forges. This guy makes amazing stuff all the time on his channel. He's the same guy that we covered last week of that Halo Infinite trailer that we talked about last week. And so he just constantly making amazing stuff. Go subscribe to Infinite and forges guys like i can't stress this anymore like just go sub to this guy and that's everything that happened in the last week of halo if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently check out this playlist right here i link to all of my halo news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about thanks so much for watching greatly appreciate it i'll catch you on the next one peace out